Okay guys, um, a few people have been asking about portable mode and I thought I'd give you a little run through how to install Kodi in portable mode. Right, so if you look at my desktop, you can see I've got several versions of Kodi on the go. They're all, the, they're all Kodi, but they're all totally independent of each other. So, Jarvis one's there, that's Isengard, Isengard, Krypton, Isengard again, another Jarvis. Now the, I personally have to have this like this. To enable to help you guys out, I need a blank code, which is there, which is what I use solely for supporting you guys. Now the other ones are either builds or little other little ventures that I'm working on within Cody. So I want them separate as well. But I don't want to keep having to swap folders out. Every time I want to transfer user data over, etc., that's not for me. I might have to, I might have to do that five, six times, and that it gets boring, very tedious. And this is a simpler way of doing it. So, first of all, you want the um, install for, uh, for the Kodi. Though obviously, I've already got it. I'm not going to bother downloading it, but it is there. You can get it from Kodi.tv. So I'll run that. Yes. Let's close that. Right, so yep, next. Agree. Next. Right, this bit here, destination folder. Now I've already installed Kodi in different locations. Now if you haven't, yours will say C program files, etc. So this is where your install gets split between your user data and your program files or your app data and the program files. For this instance we can put it anywhere we like but we don't want to put it in the program files. What we want to do is just put it in your C drive or something like that or in my case E drive. So I'm, I've created a folder called Kodi, I've selected that, that's what I'm going to put it in. You can browse for it if you want to, you know, obviously that is where I'm putting it. So next, install, and then we just have to wait for that to install. Okay, so that's uh, installed. We'll just right this bit here. If that has got a tick in it, untick it. We don't want to run Kodi right now. Okay, we just want to click finish. So we do that. Right now, we're going to go to where we downloaded or installed Kodi. Right, so in this case, it is E Drive and there. Right now, so we open up, we've got all of these files in here now. This is what I mean about it weren't separated. So you've got the usual ones you'd see, and all of these are your program files. Right, and this is here the application. Right, so what we want to do now. Is this application is the execute command if you like so we want that on our desktop so I'll create a shortcut on my desktop uh, new and shortcut right type of sort of browse for that so we know where it is because we just looked Now this bit here, this is where we need to add the portable command. So we press, so we go to the end of that, and we want to add a space, a dash, and a p, and then we'll click next. So type the name for this shortcut, Cody. Help. We'll change that to just so that you can see it's different. Right, so finish. Meaning where we have it, we've got a little Cody help. Right, now that is installed in portable mode. So what we'll do, I'll show you. Right, let me just put that up there. I have to have things a certain way. <laughs> right, um, I'll run that. Now keep an eye on this folder here when I run it. Right, 
portable data. Do you see that? It's just popped up. So we know that works. That's good. All right. I'll have to let that open up. just me you don't have to do this but what I will do then is I want that folder there or I'll open it I'll show you see that portable data folder inside that now that's your build so that's this is the the files that you want when you zip your build up it will be here it won't be the ones in this folder it will be inside your portable data important to remember that because otherwise you're going to find things very very difficult right so what I will do is I will create a shortcut here another one and I'll browse USB drive that's it and then put it in there portable data right so okay I'll rename that as well I don't want to call it that I'm going to call that Cody. Now I can't call it Cody Help because two shortcuts with the same name won't like it. So I'll put a dash in there and call it Cody Help. Right. Uh, cannot be found. Okay. Uh, do you know what? Right. My mistake. Sorry. Start that bit over. Right. So portable data. Okay. Right. Should have just click next then, and then now I want to write the name in. Could he help with a dash? Right. Okay. Finish. Now that's that. So I can close this. I don't need this open anymore. And I can. We'll put that right there. So now every time I make any changes to this, Cody, there's my files. Right, so I don't have to keep swapping my folders around every time I want to change builds. I've got a build in here. No, I've got a build in here, build in here, build in there. This is just what I'm playing with Cody Krypton just to get a feel for it. But you get the point. You don't have to keep swapping them over. It's a great little tool to have. It means you can play with different versions of Cody. It means you can have different builds on the go. You want to update all of your builds, for instance, add an add on, you know, so it can be quite tedious when you've got quite a few builds. Now you can just open it up, add it, close it, open the next one, add it, close it, and so on. You don't have to open it up, swap the folders out after you've added it, and then open it up again, and then do the same thing again, swapping folders out. It's rubbish, it's a waste of time. Do it like this, save yourself a lot of time. I hope you take the plunge and have a go at it. It will make sense to you. It's not that hard, it really isn't. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, use Cody and Portable from now on. <laughs>